everybody video here for you today this is a request video i've had a lot of messages from pennsylvania and this goes good with my video i did a couple weeks ago on the quebec stone mounds Steve's property up there interesting stone structures but let's talk about pennsylvania and i have covered pennsylvania i did a video on the tioga point site probably about three years ago loganton mounds mentioned them in an ancient history news video one of my first videos on ancient America in this current series three years ago was on the McKees Rock Mound in Pittsburgh. Also, I've done a video on the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter, a place that goes back maybe 20,000 years. But let's talk about a very interesting place in Pennsylvania today. I'm sure a lot of you have never heard of this site just because I only heard about this about four or five days ago. This is Berks County, Pennsylvania, and it's right down here. Here is one of many websites I will leave below, the Pennsylvania Historic Preservation Office. But here is one of these stone structures found in Berks County, Pennsylvania, the Ole Hill site. Let me just read here. This complex contains numerous stone constructive features such as platform cairns, curved stone rows, and rolling boulders built on top of the eastward slope of a broad ridge. Central to this complex is a large boulder that sits perched at the edge of the ridge and here is that large boulder almost looks like the head of something here eyes mouth right there was that symbolic to an ancient culture here well it could have been but there was signs here that this has been rocked back and forth and actually moved and i believe that is about 10 feet tall it says while traditional archaeological archaeological perspective would attribute these constructions to historic period field clearing practices these features exhibit a level of careful, labor-intensive, and at times artistic effort that does not readily conform to the idea that they were agricultural in origin. But is that a result of a farmer clearing his field? Some of the early uh, attempts to assess some of these ruins in America were absolutely absurd. But just going down, here is another one of these features. It says, after consulting with PH, PHMC archaeologists, Muller investigated the Ole Hill site through archival research, geological assess assessment, and mapping the site with the assistance of John Walsh, a surveyor and engineer. Their investigations included attempts to date the site's construction through various analytical methods. And this is on private property, and they really don't want the exact location of this given out. They want to preserve this. They hope this site maybe gets bought and preserved someday. It says, the so-called stone mound problem. The idea there could be pre-contact ceremonial stone site, let alone any stone construction of Native American origin in eastern Pennsylvania, is generally inconsistent with what we have learned from archaeological excavations. But I think it's time to reassess all of ancient America. We have many cultures in here, many different time periods. And you just look at the mound builders. And when you say mound builders, are you talking about the mound builders of 500, 600, 700 years ago? Or are you talking about the mound builders from 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 years ago? Ancient America is broad and very fascinating. This article was written about a year ago. It says, nothing excites the imagination like an unanswered question. And since spring, I've been exploring a little recognized mystery here in Pennsylvania. New England has a tradition of dried laid stone cairns, walls, and chambers that have been variously interpreted over the years as colonial field clearing piles, industrial remains, Celtic structures, Native American memory piles, astronomical observation sites, and sacred places. But this site here, pretty much unknown, at least it was to me. This is pretty interesting, but it says we are slowly learning that these structures also exist in parts of Pennsylvania. And this was recently highlighted by a site in Berks County that made me pause and say, what's going on here? Here is a county map of the state of Pennsylvania and these green highlighted counties, including Berks County. There has been verified stone ruins documented by archeologists the blue counties, these are undocumented reports of cairns in farmer's fields in these counties here. Here's a story that came out in 2016 and was updated recently in the last year. It says, 
Old Stone Cairns on Northern Berks County and Southern Lehigh County are a mystery, and these stone ruins are spread for quite a ways in this area, but let's just read a little bit of this article. Something mysterious about a rugged, wooded piece of land in Richmond Township called out to Rick Zimmerman three years ago. The 55-year-old Lehigh County native was looking to buy an old farmhouse in the country, but the nearly 70-acre property outside at Cootstown was less than ideal for a man who gets around in a wheelchair after losing his leg in a gruesome industrial accident. Eight months later, after Zimmerman first visited the land, the voice was still telling him to buy it. He moved in on August 8, 2013, and almost immediately started discovering unusual artifacts. First, there were low stone walls running in all directions throughout the property. Then he found bones and stones that appeared to be Native American tools. Next were two large conical mounds of shale in his fields. And I think that is one of the conical mounds that they are talking about right here. But then another voice told him to go explore the woods in the back of his land. I just knew I was going to find something good, he said. It was there that he found at least 15 sculpted stone formations or cairns of various size, including one eight feet tall and other ones, stones put on top of large outcroppings here. Was that symbolic of something? Here is another one right here. It says who built them and how they got there or how old they are is still a mystery to Zimmerman. And that is all well and good because professional archaeologists have no good explanation for who built these and when, so it's a big mystery. It says one of Zimmerman's unique finds was a deer bone that resembles a handle of a knife or some stone tool. It's heavy and solid, like stone, almost petrified and dense with holes drilled through it. I think that might be it right there. It says Zimmerman is convinced the artifacts could predate Native American tribes recorded in the area and has been told by some experts and researchers that the tools could be as old as 12,000 years old. Some people think this one might be symbolic of a turtle. The turtle is in the creation myths of North American people all over the place, so that is certainly a possibility. Here is a diagram from the Ole Hill site in Berks County, and once again, they go for a few counties here, these ruins, but these are called row-linked boulders, series of stones creating a wall connecting all these large boulders. Is this serpent symbolism? Well, I think it could be. The serpent was portrayed all the way throughout ancient America. Here is a look at kind of this slithering stone formation connecting the large boulders. Could be a serpent. There is another look, but I have talked about a similar site, Skeleton Mountain in Alabama. That's what that kind of reminds me of. But that's pretty fascinating. How old are these? Who made them? Well, nobody really knows. Now, going back to that article, I think I'll read this. I think this is important. We have lost enough history in this country. It says, in a 2007 resolution, the United South and Eastern tribes declared that within the ancestral territories, there exist ceremonial stone landscapes and their stone structures, which are of particular cultural value. The resolution went on to state archaeologists' interpretation of stone features and landscapes as a result of farming practices has not only left these sacred sites vulnerable to development, but passes judgment on their significance and protection or lack thereof. Interestingly, in, it says a 2016 USET resolution on this topic, specifically identified concentrations of pristine ceremonial stone groupings in Pennsylvania. And there is a look at just some small ones here. Just reading a little more from the second article, I think I'll wrap this up. It says, an unknown history hides in the densely forested hills and hollow of Berks County, from Albany and Bethel to Long Swamp and Richmond Townships. Enigmatic stone structures can be found in the written history of the region and observed in the present. It says, the accepted belief among professional archeologists, Muller says, is that the structures are the work of enterprising farmers possibly from the colonial era, who had too much free time and abundance of stone to work with. Muller sent images of the Ole Hills Cairns to an archeologist with the Pennsylvania Historical 
M Museum Commission who told him they looked industrial and they were modern. So you can leave your opinions below as far as what you think these represent, but a lot of work was done. These appear to be symbolic and maybe some of them are very ancient. One guess is they are maybe a thousand years old, but it seems to fit with what was going on. I don't think farmers did this. Would they, they had enough to do, enough work in their fields. Would they construct stuff like this? Well, I seriously doubt it. But just concluding here, it says, Muller said the attitudes among archeologists are changing as Native American tribes advance the idea that their ancestors built these as prayers in stone. He said archeologists haven't really investigated them at all and they just sort of dismiss them out of hand without actually going to look at them. They almost seem to be afraid that these might be ancient native structures. I don't know why, I really don't, he said. Zimmerman has been on his own crusade to have professionally trained archeologists examine these structures on his property. He has contacted professors from the University of Pennsylvania and other places to come and look at them. Zimmerman said his ultimate goal is to have the structures recognized as a legitimate historical relic, saving it for all time. Zimmerman said, I'd like this to be preserved for future generations. I mean, this is history. It's history you can see for yourself. So I thought that was a cool one to add to my Ancient America series. I see some symbolism in these structures. How old are these? Well, that's anybody's guess. If you live in the area, please leave your thoughts. If you have any ideas on how old these might be, what your thoughts are. I know there's some of you out there that look pretty much specifically into stone ruins like this. But that is a video I enjoy doing today. And if you are a so-called professionally trained archeologist, I think it's time to get your head out of your ass and start recognizing some of these ancient American ruins for what they are. That is a video on ancient Pennsylvania here, stone ruins that nobody really has a good answer for. I think we should stop with the silly answers that this came from colonial people 200, 300 years ago. Some of these could go back thousands of years. Just thought I would talk about this today. Fits well with my Ancient America series. Hope you thought that was interesting. And you all have a very nice day.